Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're talking about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, which is the build 22635.4515. The Beta Channel is still on version 23H2, but we're still getting a lot of new improvements and features in the Beta Channel. And in this video, of course, we're going to talk about all of that, all the new features and all the fixes will be presented to you in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk about different Windows 11 builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. First of all, inside this build, Microsoft is announcing the resume function, which also has some explanations from Microsoft so we can understand it better. That new feature can be found in settings and then apps. And you're going to see here resume. And what is this doing? Well, Microsoft will basically roll out the ability to resume working on OneDrive files from your phone on your Windows 11 PC with a single click. With this feature, you'll get a notification such as in the screenshot asking you if you want to pick up where you left off editing a OneDrive file like a Word document or something else. And of course, it can be turned on or off from here. And there are also some notes from Microsoft. This feature works only when signing into OneDrive with a Microsoft account. And of course, you need the same Microsoft account on both devices. This feature supports Word docs, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, OneNote notebooks, and PDFs. The OneDrive file must be opened on your phone when your PC is locked. If you then unlock your PC within five minutes of accessing the file on your phone, you'll receive the resume notification that you saw previously. And of course, you have to be on the latest build from the beta channel. I think this is quite an interesting new feature, but I'm sure that not a lot of people will use it. There are also some passwordless improvements in this build with the addition of the web auth plugin authenticator APIs. You can check more info about that in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post if you want. One other thing is related to the start menu. When right clicking on a file in the recommended section, right now you're also going to get the option to share that file directly from here. Of course, if you click on share, the share window will be opened up. Microsoft is also adding a new keyboard shortcut related to magnifier, which is control alt plus minus, which allows users to quickly toggle between the current zoom and the one X zoom. So I'm going to use that shortcut. As you can see, it really easily switches between those two modes. I think this is a very nice shortcut. Also getting some new things inside accounts and pass keys in the settings app with the addition of a search box to quickly find specific pass keys and also certain advanced options that it can use related to the third party pass key support. This feature was discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, so shout out to him. One new addition related to the file explorer, whenever you are searching for a file, for example, let me search for an image that I have on this computer, I can click on open file location. And in previous build, if I were to click on that button, it would open the file location in a new window. Well, right now in this build, Microsoft is adding the ability to open that in the same window. I'm going to click on open file location. You're going to notice that it will be opened up in the same window as a new tab. And I think that is pretty nice. And if you don't like this, of course, you can go into these three dots and options and inside folder options, you're going to have here this option that you can choose open each folder in the same window or open each folder in its own window. You can choose from there if you don't like it this way. Inside the file explorer, Microsoft is also adding options to turn off the start backup reminders in the file explorer address bar or snooze them for a month, which is pretty nice. I think this is something related to OneDrive. So if you have OneDrive set up, you can always turn off or snooze the backup if you have it in the file Explorer address bar. We also have some fixes that are currently rolling out related to the file explorer. Next, I fixed an issue where sometimes you would be unable to navigate by entering a path in the address bar. Fixed an issue where the file explorer address bar was unexpectedly overlapping with content while in full screen view. Improved performance of context menu launch for people when right clicking on cloud files. Made a change to help ensure thumbnails for cloud files are displayed more consistently in search results within file explorer. And also fixed an issue which was causing some explorer exe crashes in the last couple of flights, including when trying to create new folders in certain locations. So this is pretty much the latest beta channel build. It has some new interesting improvements and features. And of course, if you want to learn more about this, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.